Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about what is coming today on Sunday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team related to the record breakers that are in packs right now and possibly a few more coming into packs. Yes, we're talking about five more record breaker cards coming into packs. That is what the rumor is. We'll talk about that. We may have talked about it in a previous video, but we'll talk about it again today and what I think that could do for the market we're getting used to people in the last couple of days we've seen this friday on saturday and i think again today on sunday we've seen panic selling into the 6 p.m uk time period Co uh, combine that with the weekend league sell-off that is start starting to happen right now on the market as well as people finish their weekend leagues and we could have some good some good opportunity today for some prices to fall but then also some stuff to rebound later tonight into uh, sunday and then into monday as well because this market right now has a lot of coins but there's also a lot of things in this game right now that people can be, um, I guess, wasting their coins with as well. The first thing I want to talk about before we dive into what could be coming out today as well is this SBC, Romain Alessandrini. Romain Alessandrini, this guy made some big time moves on the market yesterday because he is in a very rare position in this game. There are not a lot of right mids. Now, we've had a few. In the not so recent, in the recent future, actually, with the Rodrigo objective that has come out, this Alessandrini card among the two that I can think of off the top of my head, a lot of people did this SBC today. And here's how you know why. You take a look at Footbin, right? Our favorite website over here. 4,000 upvotes, 4,000 upvotes for Alessandrini. And that is like a crazy, insane amount of upvotes for a card in the first day. I know people are doing this SBC for 100,000 coins. This is a FIFA legend. He's Chinese league, but the biggest thing here is he is French. Now, of course, I'm going to link him to probably my Taliska. I'll figure that out somehow how to do that. But the French nationality in this game is one of the most used nationalities in terms of EA puts out promo cards all the time for the French cards. We know this. We always talk about French links are just the most OP and the most usable and best investment links at all times in this game and a lot of people did this card today now how do we also know that a lot of people did this card well let's take a look at some other right wings and right mids on the market that got absolutely destroyed in price Mares, 160 170 000 coins earlier in the day today when the sbc dropped out of course there was panic selling headed into the content drop we saw this on a lot of cards yesterday on saturday and i'll talk about this again i think we're gonna see it today on sunday Mars went from 180 early Saturday morning down to the content drop time 157. So we went down um, 20, 23,000 coins. And then after the Alessandrini came out, he went to 138, kind of bounced back to 150. Now he's back down to 136. Another prime example of a card that was, this is basically for an economic turn. This is a substitute good. This Romain Alessandrini came out. People sold their other right mids to go do this right mid, right? So we have this Lozano card that was 160,000 coins earlier in the day, dropped to 133, rebounded to 140s, and is now still in like the 140 range. Now, of course, if people are buying up this Alessandrini card, how are they linking him? Here is one gold card today that did a, um, I guess you could say a complimentary type investment, a link investment to this new SBC card. What happened to Pogba? on saturday he kind of went back up in the morning 157 was panic sold down into the content drop to 135 and then exploded up to 157,000 coins he's still right now at about 150 uh but a lot of french midfielders kind of went up today too a lot of french strikers links to this alessandrini card the um alex to share man dude these um some of these brazilians and especially this this Alex Teixeira Rule Breakers card, 280k after being almost 200,000 coins earlier this week. The Hero cards, 200,000 coins after being 150 on Wednesday night into Thursday. So a lot of these cards have really rebounded a bunch. And this Alessandrini SBC is going to be something that we have to keep in mind just because of all the French links, right? French strikers, French midfielders, French right backs, special cards in those areas. We're going to keep a very close eye on this week, even as these cards could possibly rise into the week. Um, with all the coins that are on the market with weekend link sell-off, I would expect to rise. So uh, we'll be looking in those areas to see maybe a bit more of a rise as people try to link this new Alessandrini card in their teams. Icons as well. Take a look at those. But let's again talk about what is coming today regarding the record breakers. Now, this is the Sporf at Sporf account on Twitter. Um, 
and I think this is a somehow a football related account. I'm not entirely sure, but um, they this is where a lot of people are getting the speculation for five more record breakers to be released today. And I think it's pretty legit, right? It makes sense. Now, we don't have like a Super Sunday that's been advertised that has been, you know, shown to us in years past. All that we know about Sunday is we are going to be getting more Flash SBCs today. Now, yesterday on Saturday, I believe we only had one lightning round. It was a small 125k lightning round at 6 p.m. UK on the content drop. I think that was the only one. I would expect more lightning rounds today on Sunday if they're also running flash SBCs and if they're putting new cards into packs, which seems to be kind of the perfect storm today. So I would expect some of that. I would expect another SBC of some sort, whether that be a player SBC. Um, I don't think there's anything that's expiring today. Um, like the team of week SBC is out for a few more days. The 81 pluses are out. Of course, yesterday we also had all of the um, league upgrades. We had an 82 plus player pick. Um, that is not repeatable. You can do once. You have the 83 plus that is repeatable. There's tons of these upgrade SBCs that are out right now. Rare golds are up in price. I think the Premier League rare golds uh, that you need for this upgrade, you need six of them. And the League Un rare golds. Uh, I think the League Un rare golds are like 1.4K and the Premier League uh, are about, I think they're 1.1K. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword today, right? If we do get a VVD or some other Premier League cards that come out in the set of the next set of five record breakers and packs, yes, you could see more people wanting to go out and do these upgrade SBCs, but you could also see more supply coming to the market if they're running flash SBCs and if they're running more lightning rounds. So just kind of, if you want to do these upgrade packs, that's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, as all of these cards, best of team of the week is in packs still. I think throughout the rest of the weekend... I think it says here on the home page. Uh, record breakers are in packs until two days, 14 hours. I believe that's Tuesday. The Allison Andrini, yes, yes. Best of the team of the week is also in packs until Tuesday. So all of these cards are in packs until Tuesday at 6 p.m., I believe. So we've got basically two more days uh, of these cards. Actually, it might be, might be Wednesday, unless I can't count. I'm not entirely sure. Math is hard at late at night. But uh, that is what... We could be expecting today. So again, with the possibility, now, as word travels around about these new cards possibly being released, five more cards being released today, one thing that we could see is another bit of panic selling into the 6 p.m. UK time frame. Now, where would I be looking if I saw panic selling today? Now, a few of these cards are still out of packs, like, like Rashford, right? He's out of packs. Some of these golds, I want to talk about this too, and I talked about it in yesterday's video, just the sheer amount of supply that happened on Friday. And if we have more Flash SBCs today with less demand than Friday because people are finishing the weekend league and less people need those teams, they'd rather have their coins maybe to do a Flash SBC or to do some upgrade packs or whatever. Uh, you've already started to see some of a sell-off on these cards, and I think a lot of the golds and some of the stuff that was in packs is still going to continue to drop off because there was just so much supply that happened on Friday. Sun is 72,000 coins. Pogba's 150. Even after the link investments that he had today, he's back down. Um, some of these cards that are in packs, right? Sancho, 319. He's dropping. Oscar, 74K. That's kind of chilling. Uh, where's Mbappe? 329. So he's a bit up right now. And some of these best of team of the week cards um, had some more panic selling today. Then they rebounded. And this is, again, what I want to look for today as we head into the 6 p.m. time frame. I don't know if you have a huge bounce back. Kyle Walker was 526, went down to 483, and then rebounded back to 520. I don't think there's going to be as much of a rebound into this afternoon on Sunday afternoon. But I definitely think you will see some panic selling on the market in the early leading hours up until content drop today. Now, just be very careful on what cards you might get interested in because, of course, as we saw on Friday, we saw guys like this Sancho down to 300,000 coins and he rebounded to 370. We saw this Renato Sanchez at 170. He went up to 210. But just a reminder on why I don't think the bounce back is going to be that big uh, right after the content drop is because there's more daily flash SBCs coming today. There's more possibly lightning rounds, more content that could be coming, and there's no weekend league demand for all of these cards. Now, if you think Van Dyke is getting into this squad today, his gold card, in my opinion, would probably be a shout. Um, I don't know if there's leaks going around. I have heard that Van Dyke is in the squad, um, and you know I've been hearing that for a couple days. And I think people were even talking about that beforehand. Um, I don't think there was a 
there was not, there was a Brazilian flag, French flag, and then a date on the loading screen. So um, I don't know. Just watch this card if it has any interest to you. If he does go into packs, you'll probably see a nice rise on that gold card in the next couple of days, depending on how long he's out of packs, kind of like you saw with Golden Bappe. So just be careful uh, with that card right there. But on out of packs items, now I know some of you guys are like, yo, if I'm trying to make some buys, if I'm watching the market today, what kind of areas could I pick up on some panic selling? And I want to talk about that out of packs inform, specifically road to the finals and Rule Breakers, this poor two card, 174. He was actually down from 180 where he was, I think, earlier. But that's, again, another right wing that got panic sold a little bit today. Some of these road to the finals are already inflated a lot. But we have UCL games that are coming this week on Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's game week number five. So there's going to be some games this week that decide what teams are going to be able to get through to the knockout rounds and what teams are maybe going to get knocked out, right? Ajax big game this week. They are on the bubble. They're in third place. They play Liverpool. If they win, they have a shot at third place and they have a shot at going forward, right? And maybe even getting into the, the, the knockout stages. But if they lose, it's not looking that good for Ajax. It's looking like he, this Promes would become a Europa League card. And I honestly think that this card would drop even more. Now, some of these cards are up a ton, right? Sissoko is 920. He's up like 80,000 coins. Jesus is up 50k. Hazard is up a ton. This guy was at 800k last night. That was wild. So just watch the sell-off today on Road to the Finals, because I think especially with some of these Champions League cards, if they get sold off at all again today, this Salah, dude, this guy rebounds and bounces around so much. He's so rare. If you want to watch a card to trade, if you like to icon trade, this card is basically an icon. Look what he did on Friday, man. He was 1-3 mids, 1-3 mids. Kind of went up to the 1-4 mids uh, yesterday. He had a peak at 1-5. But, but I don't think Footbin even catches all these fluctuations because I see this card go from like 1-3 to 1-4-5 all the time. And it's Liverpool. It's a live item. People buy it. So just keep an eye on that if you want to trade with him. Um, but some take, do a little bit of research if you have to, right? Look at some of these cards that could possibly be in a position where they are on the bubble, uh, like Draxler, man. I keep talking about this Draxler card. I know that his card is not that overpowered and like incredible looking in this game, but if this card is 50,000 coins, he was 60K last week, PSG won, he dropped, right? PSG is not guaranteed to go on, but if they win again this week, it's looking like he's gonna get upgraded to an 85. He's gonna have over 80 pace, and this card probably is going to rise with some hype in the next week or so as we head to closer and closer to the date where these cards will get upgraded. So just keep an eye on some of these road to the finals if they do get low this weekend in the sell-off. And then, of course, rule breakers and team of the week cards that are very meta, right? Zaha, 212. I'm starting to get questioning about that. I'm getting curious because that was 240 earlier this weekend. And I do think you are going to see a market rebound into Monday. So tonight with the weekend league sell-off, if you see prices after the content drop that are dropping meta gold cards um out of pack specials like the rule breakers icons stuff like that that you see panic selling on that went up a bunch this weekend that you see kind of come back down um and people are going to buy back for their teams uh over the week definitely get involved with it i think that is a possible there, there is a chance here to get involved wasn't marco royce's 470 yeah this must have been like a it's a 20k undercut because royce was literally just 470k where he has kind of been all day. So I'm gonna go actually and check and see if this card is on the market. Little Marco Royce action. See if this is on the market. I will snag it. I doubt it's there. Yo, they added the rule breaker thing now and it's messing me up on where I actually go to search because I can't find the cards that I wanna find. Yeah, so Royce is in the 470. So that was a little flipping snipe. Maybe I'll sit here for a little bit just in case somebody sees this price at 445 and lists them up. That's a trading method you can absolutely do uh, on this game. But just watch the sell-off today. Watch open bids because that is underrated. It is very underrated to watch open bids, especially on special cards that people are maybe not looking at all the time. My transfer list right now, I've got basically all my cards out, all the golds that I flipped from Friday night, all the Ali Watkins informs. I flipped a bunch of those. And uh, I still got those dump for you sitting on my transfer list, just kind of waiting for a time uh, when I do think that that card will bounce up because of a... Um, because of a link investment to some sort of flashback Robin or whenever EA decides to put something out along those lines. So just watch the panic selling today. I do think there will be some selling into the 6 p.m. time frame. 
The only thing I'm a little bit worried about too with the market right now, I know there's a ton of coins that just got input onto this game, but these upgrade packs, I see a lot of people doing these league upgrades, doing the 81 pluses. A lot of people did Aguero. A lot of people did Alessandrini. So remember, watch the French links, watch the Premier League links for those two cards right there. And, um, you know, I do think some of these upgrade packs are taking coins off the market, but I don't think it's that much. I don't think it's that much just because there are so many coins that came on in total. I don't think it's going to affect the market that much unless we get some sort of repeatable type of SBC or a, if we got another icon SBC, that would be something that would be very interesting to me as well. Last check. Let's take a look at SBC fodder. 83s are up. 86s are up. A lot of these cards are up, and that is because of SBCs that are out in this game. Alessandrini caused those to go up today, I think, a little bit. Let's take a look at the index 86. Uh, yeah, Alessandrini caused these cards to go up a bit today. Now, if we get more flash SBCs and we don't get any SBC content today on foot, you might see some of the stuff trickle down in terms of SBC fodder, some of the, the cheapest 83 to 88 rateds on this game. I don't know when the icon SBC, the one that is non-repeatable, I do not know when that goes away let me try to find it really fast the base icon upgrade goes away not today on sunday but the day after so i think it goes away on monday at 6 p.m uk is when that goes away so i don't think we get another icon as we see until that one goes away but hey ea can do whatever they want man so we'll see what happens but again sunday probably more weekend league sell-off it's looking like five more rule breakers and that could make for some more interesting movements today on the market don't be scared to flip cards if they're out of packs if they're rare there's going to be jumps up and down with panic selling with buyback just because the cards are rare this is where you can make a lot of coins on a weekly sell-off with icons and rare cards like road to the finals rule breakers and some team of the week items just because they're very desired and they're very rare and a lot of people use them in their teams so selling hits, it just goes in waves, right? It's very, very fun to trade on weekend league sell-off days. So keep that in mind today if you're out making moves on the market. But it could be an interesting Sunday today on FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate DeFord Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.